<laughs> What's your least favorite team? For football? Mm-hmm. Probably the Patriots. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, how many times can you see the same team win Super Bowls? It's like, come on already. Somebody retire. I love watching the Eagles beat them for the Super Bowl. Yeah, that was, you know, it's funny because I can't stand the Eagles either, but that was a pretty nice to see them win. <laughs> it's, it's better than the Patriots winning, yeah, like, I guess. their 50th yeah. Super Bowl. I mean, and I don't like a team other than the Bucks, so pretty much hate them all. <laughs> I'm going to get down to it when it comes to sports. You know what I mean? Hey guys, this is Elliot from Go Pump Bull here today. We're here with Trevor from Obituary. I got this new album. It's full limited edition out of 100. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's do I thought this. we were already doing the interview before. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are you doing? And how is the tour going so far? It's great. Uh, I'm a little tired because I stay up too late every night after our shows. <laughs> Uh, drinking too much whiskey, but no, it's great. This is our fourth gig tonight, I guess. Yeah, we played Atlanta, Greensboro, Philly last night, and here tonight. So it's great. Like tonight sold out, so it's pretty cool. It's always good to be in Manhattan. It's always a good show in Manhattan. So it's exciting. It's gonna be sick. I think that your newest. Okay, well, I'm a kid. Okay, so I think that your newest album is the best. Would cool. you agree? It's pretty cool, man. I like it. Um, I mean, you know. I like all my material that we've done over the years, you know, some stuff's better than others, I guess you could say, and, um, but definitely for our, our later albums, this is probably our best one since maybe our second or third album, I think, for sure. It has like a little bit of like a mix of thrash and... Yeah, we, well, we've always had a little thrashy elements, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Maybe it just stands out more on this one, I don't know. Your guitar tones sound like they came straight from hell. What do you think hell looks like if it's real? The insides of my guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It has fire and blood and guts and torture. <laughs> I don't know. And wires. Yes, lots of wires. <laughs> if you could temporarily hang out with any dead musician for a day, who would you pick? Ronnie James Dio. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. I know that one right off the top of the cuff, man. <laughs> yeah, Dio. For me, sure. it would be either Cliff Burton or Bob. Uh, what's it? Hmm? Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury or Randy Rhodes. That's Randy Rhodes, yeah. I, Randy Rhodes would be my probably close to Dio second, you know, big time. But Dio's just like, I love that dude. <laughs> <laughs> love him. <laughs> What would you try to accomplish if you're the president of the United States? I would uh, try to accomplish everybody to lighten the hell up in this planet. Everybody's so uptight and gets offended by every fucking word people say. It's stupid. I get, I'm sick of it. I'm so sick. Of, I'm offended by everybody getting offended. It really, it really is. You know, this whole PC crap, vafanculo, you know? Seriously, that'd be my ultimate goal. Let everybody just shut the fuck up and get along and be cool. You know? Really. Yeah. It's stupid. It's really r- ridiculous. There should be more peace in this world. Yeah, and no... Yeah, peace, not PC. Because... <laughs> yeah, hell, comedians can't even be comedians anymore. Because everybody gets offended. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, when I grew up, like, comedians... You, you poke fun at everybody and their... Whatever, you know, people's flaws or whatever it may be or whatever. And people just take it the wrong way nowadays. You can't even make a joke. You know? It's sad. It's a pretty sad world. Sometimes I feel sorry for you, kid, for growing up <laughs> in this stupid-ass planet we got going on here. I've got a couple myself. I feel sorry for them, you know? What characteristics of human beings scares you the most? Um, uh, characteristics that scare me the most of a human being. Uh, two-faced... Uh, you know, someone who's like a snake type personality, you know, thieving, someone who's a thief, that kind of stuff, you know, there's just, you know, people who like rape, thief, you know, that kind of shit just wrong, you know, murder, who, people just, people are fucked up, you know, <laughs> it's just like, it's scary, you know, think about it, like someone who's full of shit all the time, and they're pretending like they're not, you know, like, 
bad, bad, bad karma. <laughs> that is really scary. Yeah. It sounds like your recording studio is a cool place to hang out. Can I hang out with you guys some? Come on down, absolutely. <laughs> you have to drink six pack of beer though. That's <laughs> 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 so what dad always said when I was growing up. If you want to drink a beer, some you can drink one with me, but you have to drink six. <laughs> There's only thirteen. You don't have to drink four. Only four? Oh, okay. <laughs> My dad wants to know when hopped in half beer will be available near us in this area. Well, uh, hopped in half is not available anymore. We only brewed it for one year. Um, it was just a thing that Three Floyds Brewery did. It's just like something they do. They try to make them unique and special, so they just do it for like a year. But actually, right now, <coughs> a brewery down in Tampa near us called Cigar City. Uh, I'm sure you get, I know I've seen the beers in Long Island here, so I'm sure they're up here. Uh, they have a beer called High Lie, which is an IPA, really good beer. Anyway, we met them and they're brewing us a beer right now. It's gonna be a brand new beer. We're still working on the packaging idea and the concept behind it, but so hopefully it's done. We've already tasted a couple versions of it, so I don't know. I hopefully after this tour, we're gonna get have meetings and get it canned and get it done. So. So we will, and that should be, hopefully, if it's successful, that'll be an ongoing beer because it's a local company. We have a lot of bars that want to carry it down there, um, friends of ours that are rock and roll and metal bars. So so hopefully that'll, if it's successful, they'll just continue to brew it. We'll that's, see. that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to try that. Um, if you could <laughs> <Only> have, four. <laughs> only four, if you could have any superpower, which would you pick? A superpower? Wow, that's a strange question. I guess I'd be like be the sickest samurai ninja cray cray martial artist. <laughs> but I guess it's not a superpower, right? I mean, people just study that and become that, so. Um, huh. I don't know, to be able to breathe underwater. <laughs> that's a cool one. Yeah. I've, I've never heard that. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, right? I, I was thinking, like, just teleport so you don't want to, like, Go oh, anywhere. Yeah, to teleport would be sick. <laughs> and I could stay home during a tour and come play and go back home. I can just go to like any guitar store I want whenever mm. I want. Yeah. Just show up to the sound check, <laughs> go back home, eat dinner, come back to the show. Yeah. Go back home out of the show. It'd tour be... the whole world. It wouldn't matter. It would tour... have to leave the house, hardly. <laughs> be killer. Tour the whole world in 24 hours. It's just 24 shows. It'd be sick. Okay, for this, you're going to do a thumbs up if you like it or a thumbs down if you don't. Okay. Cats. Dogs. Zombies. <laughs> Horror movies. Absolutely. Politic. Politicians. <laughs> Farts. <laughs> Farts are funny even when you're almost 50. <laughs> Fireworks. Yeah. Double thumbs up. Fireworks. Complainers. Boo. <laughs> Party poopers. Boo. <laughs> the last two were pretty self-explanatory. Okay. Vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Weed. Mmm. <laughs> and dingleberries. Dingleberries, no. <laughs> Decaf coffee. Uh-uh. Espresso, man. Come on. Dark. <laughs> Vinyl records. Yes. Spotify. Um, <laughs> no. I mean, this, the idea is cool, but as being a artist in this world, if you knew the business behind it all and what happens to the artist who creates the music, you'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> but it's a cool concept. Hellfire. Hellfire. Peace and love. Yeah. I'm a hippie. <laughs> I'm pretty much a hippie. <laughs> yes. Okay, for these An are... An aggro hippie. Okay, for these are... You're gonna need... <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to have hair to be a hippie. I'm a it's kid... It's state of mind. <laughs> I'm a kid... I'm a kid with glasses hippie. There you go. Um, okay, for these, you're gonna name your favorite album. Okay. From each of these bands. Okay. Black Sabbath. Probably Mob Rules. That's a good one. Or Heaven and Hell, one of those two. Death. Death? Oh, what's my favorite album? Mm-hmm. 
Oh. I don't know. Probably leprosy. Led Zeppelin. Uh, hmm. Zeppelin 4, probably. Nice. Slayer. Hello Eights. Meet Season of Biff. Season of Biff? Mm -hmm. I like all their stuff. <laughs> Everyone always says, uh, uh, what is it? Rain and Blood? Yeah. Which I love, obviously. Heaven and Hell to me is just the most evil, heavy fucking album they ever wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Exodus. Bonded by Blood. Metallica? Uh, Kill Them All. Obituary. Oh, wow, really? Um, <laughs> right now, my new one, <laughs> but I don't know. Our favorite album, wow, it's hard to have a favorite of my own band. I, I don't know. Uh, hmm. I don't know, probably our first album. Slowly. Because that's where it's all started. Mm. Is there anything you, you'd like to add? Uh, I lost my bet on the Kentucky Derby today. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, I don't know. It's cool. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Thank you. And enjoy the show. Enjoy.